In the heart of one of the world's most volatile regions, Ethiopia's airspace is entering a new era of strategic defense. For decades, the skies over the Horn of Africa have been a complex and often contested theater. But now, a significant shift appears to be underway, driven by emerging threats and new geopolitical alliances that are quietly redrawing the map of military power. This transformation isn't just about modernizing an air force, it's about establishing a formidable zone of aerial denial. According to multiple defense insiders and open source intelligence analysts, China has reportedly supplied Ethiopia with some of its most advanced air defense systems. This landmark, yet largely unconfirmed, transaction represents a profound strategic investment by Beijing in a key African partner. If these reports are accurate, the move could completely reshape the military balance in the Horn of Africa, creating a powerful deterrent against potential adversaries and securing Ethiopia's critical national infrastructure from aerial attack. This isn't just a simple arms sale. It's the delivery of a comprehensive, multi-layered defense network. From sophisticated high-altitude missile interceptors capable of neutralizing jets and ballistic threats, to advanced radar networks that rival the capabilities of some NATO systems, these assets represent Ethiopia's new shield. Today we delve into the unconfirmed reports to reveal the top five Chinese air defense weapons that could now be protecting Ethiopia's skies, analyzing the capabilities that make them a game changer for regional security. We'll explore how each system functions, its potential placement, and the strategic implications for Ethiopia and its neighbors. In recent years, Ethiopia has found itself at the heart of a volatile geopolitical landscape. The nation faces a complex web of growing regional threats, from the proliferation of sophisticated missiles to the ever-present danger of drone incursions from state and non-state actors. Tensions have particularly escalated along the vital Red Sea Corridor, a critical artery for global trade. With its proximity to the Bab el Mandeb Strait, through which a significant portion of the world's maritime commerce flows, Ethiopia's stability is intrinsically linked to the security of these waters. Any disruption here sends ripples across the global economy, making regional military posturing a matter of international concern. The brutal internal conflict in Tigray served as a stark wake-up call, exposing critical vulnerabilities in the nation's airspace control. Simultaneously, persistent instability in neighboring Sudan and Somalia has created a porous security environment, raising the specter of cross-border threats. In this context, securing its sovereign airspace transformed from a strategic objective into an urgent national priority. The Ethiopian National Defense Force recognized that without a robust, multi-layered air defense network, the country would remain dangerously exposed to coercion and attack from the skies. This realization set the stage for a significant strategic pivot. That's precisely why the deepening military partnership with China is so significant. According to defense analysts, this collaboration is poised to fill a long-standing and critical capability gap in Ethiopia's defense architecture. By providing access to modern surface-to-air missile systems and advanced radar technology, Beijing is not just selling hardware. It is offering a comprehensive solution to Addis Ababa's most pressing security dilemma. This strategic alignment promises to reshape the balance of power in the Horn of Africa, equipping Ethiopia with the tools to deter aggression and safeguard its national interests for the foreseeable future. Kicking off our list at number one is a system that represents a monumental leap in air defense technology, the Hongqi 9 or HQ-9. Often cited as China's direct answer to the formidable American Patriot and the renowned Russian S-300 and S-400 systems, the HQ-9 is a testament to the country's rapidly advancing military-industrial complex. It's not just a copy, it's a peer competitor that has been exported to several nations, signaling a shift in the global arms market. Its presence in any arsenal immediately elevates a nation's defensive posture from regional to strategic. The system's capabilities are formidable. The latest variants of the HQ-9 can engage a wide spectrum of aerial threats from stealth aircraft and cruise missiles to tactical ballistic missiles, at ranges reportedly exceeding 200 kilometers and altitudes of up to 30 kilometers. Its sophisticated active electronically scanned array, or AESA radar, can track dozens of targets simultaneously, demonstrating a high resistance to electronic jamming, 
This makes it the ultimate area denial weapon, creating a vast protected bubble of airspace. For Ethiopia, the unconfirmed acquisition of, or even training on, the HQ-9 would be a game changer. As the top layer of a potential integrated air defense network, it would grant Addis Ababa the power to deter and neutralize threats from well beyond its borders. This single system could effectively shield the nation's most critical infrastructure, instantly making Ethiopia one of the best protected nations in East Africa from sophisticated long-range aerial attacks and fundamentally altering the regional balance of power. Second, the HQ-22. Known for its electronic countermeasure resistance, the HQ-22 is designed to operate in complex environments, perfect for Ethiopia's mountainous terrain. Analysts believe this system offers a balanced cost-to-performance ratio, ideal for emerging defense partners like Ethiopia. Third, the LD-2000 Close-In Defense System, a mobile gun platform capable of shooting down low-flying drones and rockets. In an era of drone warfare, especially after the Ukraine conflict, systems like the LD-2000 are critical for urban and base protection. Fourth, the YLC-8E Radar. A highly advanced 3D long-range radar capable of detecting stealth aircraft and ballistic missiles. If integrated into Ethiopia's network, it would dramatically expand early warning coverage across the Horn of Africa. And finally, number five, the HQ-16B, a medium-range surface-to-air missile system co-developed with Russia's technology lineage. This system bridges the gap between short and long-range defenses, making it ideal for layered protection of Ethiopian strategic sites like the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam and military air bases. Together, these five systems form what analysts are calling Ethiopia's new multi-layered air defense umbrella. This partnership not only strengthens Ethiopia's sovereignty, but also signals Beijing's growing footprint in African security, a direct challenge to Western influence in the region. With these new systems in place, Ethiopia's skies may soon be among the safest in Africa. What do you think? Is this a defensive partnership or a new geopolitical power play? Drop your thoughts below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more updates on Africa's changing defense landscape.